this podcast for me it's the best time of the week i love that we can sit and talk and and i feel like when we meet now there are some recurring themes that are starting to emerge for instance we love static analysis we've made so many videos about uh, eslin plugins and actually like i would have so much follow-up uh, on some of the stuff we discussed and uh, maybe we talk about it offline uh, so we love static analysis we love types like everything typescript and how to make it stricter and and i think these are also our most popular videos so i guess our audience they really like also the typescript videos and we love also things which are functional right right uh you seem really excited i have no idea what's about to come um so let me ask you something okay what's more uh strictly typed what's more functional than a component that is rendered at compile time some what is more strictly typed that a component that is rendered at compile time yes so compile time that means let server me, side rendering let me show you okay <laughs> so let's create so i'm going to create a type called mm. This even bigger. Uh, maybe it's enough. I don't know. So I'm going to create a type called app, and we can create a type component, type only component. So maybe container. And actually, the cool thing is that the TypeScript uh, types they almost look like JSX syntax, kind of. And then you can have mm. a child. Uh, maybe hello. You can have like uh, hello world component. So we can write maybe so the our container, which is our type only component. Uh, here it receives children as a generic as type. A generic okay. Type, yes. And so we would have like maybe body <laughs> and <laughs> children. And then we have our hello world component. So let me just so children here maybe extends. Wait, are you going to rewrite React and TypeScript? Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Um, so let's do children. Um, so there is no child, no properties, and then you can say hello world. Uh, Oh, hmm. um, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is type hello world. So okay, yeah, makes sense. You rendered. So it's very fast because there is no runtime. <laughs> so it cannot get any faster than True this. that. <laughs> and you might be asking, but where is the output going? Yeah, you, you can't access it. So, you know, it's a bit, so the way I see it, it's a bit like NFTs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, if you believe, if you believe that it exists, if we all believe that the output exists, then it exists. <laughs> and I think also it's very similar to NFTs because you can go to the moon with this because the rocket ship cannot explode because the runtime cannot fail because there is no runtime. Yeah, that, now that you say it, it makes completely so you sense. you can go to the moon with this. So does it run on the type chain? So <laughs> what is it? <laughs> the TypeScript chain? Is that the, the new place where you deploy um, React as an NFT? Ah, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, actually. And um, so let me, maybe we have also properties, like in React components. So maybe you say hello, uh, and we pass as property Johnny and William. And with a hello, and then we receive. Um, so we have the hello props. So just like your, your regular uh, components, right? So hello props, and so we have. 
we can yeah we can type it directly as being an array of strings and here we can do we can return hello and we can do a concat of hello props and we can write the concat function and here it's the same technique that uh, we used last time so we have the input let's call it uh, i for input it extends an array of strings we have the result which is a string so extends string and default value is empty string and then we have this uh, state thing that we use for the recursive so we can have state right of course extend, of course <laughs> um, and default value is empty array and so you know the you know the drill <laughs> Let me. so now if the array is empty how do we I, so if uh, the I am lost already. <laughs> How do we check if the... No, we don't want to check if the state is of the same size of the input. Then it means we are done. So if i length equals s... Uh, extends, so equals s length, then we return the result. If not, we do a recursive call where we pass so the input, uh, the result we concatenate. So to R, we add the current element, which is I at state length. So I at state length, right? It's zero, one, two, because we're gonna increment the state. And here, for instance, in state, we need to increment by one. It can be any value. It's just, we're just looking at the length. So here we, we add to state one element, maybe zero. And here, and here maybe I can put even number. I mean, it doesn't matter. And if I go here, it says no. So R. And then here I can even, uh, let's see. So here I have hello, Johnny William, and we can even put uh, comma. <laughs> so if, um, Ah, uh, oh, nice. You can even like, it's like dot join and then you can even pass a separator. Absolutely. Um, I, you don't need a runtime. You can wow. do it in uh, yeah. TypeScript. So let's check this one. Maybe here empty string and... This approach is pretty new to me, but I already liked much more than Angular. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, and you cannot be faster than that because you compiled it here. Hello, Johnny William. So you cannot, what's faster than something you don't even execute? Yeah. It's, really faster than that. it's crazy. So we don't need any types packages. The, is it actually zero bytes if you, if yeah, you execute you it? Yeah, you it to a zero size. So the bundle size is zero. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect. Yeah. And it's bug free. Who it's wants to have free? React in the runtime yes. when, I mean, we anyway, live in, in a TypeScript world. Yes, bundle-free, bug-free, and uh, I think I'm ready to go to the moon with it. Yeah, um, Are you when, when is the rocket gonna launch? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so game changer confirmed, right? It's a game changer. It's a game changer. <laughs>